Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your September weekly messages. This is going to be for the 23rd through the 29th. Let's see what messages are in store for you. Message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo. <gasps> happy birthday, Virgos. Happy, happy birthday. You see that? Woo, happiness is coming for my Virgos. It's going to be a happy week. Oh, yeah. Let's see what other cards are in store here. Ooh, four of swords. Some of you are going to be in rest mode or feel the need to rest after a whole week of partying or something like that. <laughs> Maybe a lot of sex. No. Who knows? We'll see. Nasty you. Ooh, we have the, the star card here. What else comes after the star card? But it's reversed. Why is the star card reversed? Maybe you were losing hope in a situation or in someone. But something happens after a period of resting or maybe not talking into them or maybe things are not going your way because something's being stopped so that you can pause, rejuvenate yourself, extend a little bit more, and then boom, here comes the happiness. Right? That's what I'm seeing, baby. Avoiding conflict. Five of Wands reverse. That's good. Staying away from drama. People who cause drama. I feel like those who had caused you drama will be getting their karma. And I feel like that's going to bring you some type of joy in some way. Wow. Six of Wands. If you are somebody in the public eye, you are going to be very, very successful. Okay, it's going to bring you great joy. Something's going to have happen that's going to earn you some type of recognition. And it's going to bring you so much happiness. Okay, congratulations. Knave of Cups. A small offer is going to be offered to you, but it's like the little things is it's like the little things make you very very happy. Small gifts, small offers, and it brings you so much joy. We have the three of cups reversed. Maybe there was a party that didn't go so well, but you're okay with that because you you're resting, you're at peace, and you lost hope because there was a party or a situation that didn't go well, or maybe you had to cancel something. Okay, but it was for the best. And you were okay with that, but you you were spoiled. I feel like you've been spoiled in some way. And because we have the Six of Wands and the Sun card here, success, happiness, recognition, staying triumphant, focusing on yourself, it, it brings you happiness, you know? The Knave of Wands reversed. Why is the Knave of Wands reversed? Maybe at one point you weren't feeling so creative, okay? And that's because you were in resting mode. Like I said, you were rejuvenating, okay? After this, something will be ignited and you will get your creativity back. Or you will get back on to doing whatever it is that you do and find happiness and joy and have this a, a new sense of energy where you're going to be like thanking the universe and the heavens above that... You had that time to rest. You, you understand why certain things happen. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. Maybe someone's not feeling so stable or maybe there was a loss in something and you just had to relax or, or you know, get yourself back together again. Empress here, you see? This is literally you giving birth to your dreams. Ah, oh, I love it. Giving birth to your dreams, being successful and happy. Some of you, this could mean that you were taking some time off, pausing in something, resting, hoping, and praying that somebody gets knocked up and pregnant. Oh, you see that? Mm -hmm. Someone was doing a little mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't know what that is, but you know what I mean, Sheila Bang. Someone really did get that chili. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, if there was some kind of lack of communication, that's what made you lose hope 
or made you feel some type of way because there wasn't some type of communication or someone didn't say something to you and that kind of upset you so but there's, there's a reason why because we have the knight of cups someone's going to be coming in remember i said that little offer someone's going to come in okay offer you something and it could be a gift from the heart as well a gift from the heart maybe an i love you or maybe something words of beautiful like beautiful words what they couldn't say before they were saving it for a special occasion or a special day or for the time was the perfect time to do it and that i feel is going to just make you scream of happiness and joy so yeah virgo you have a pretty interesting week coming up okay this if it doesn't resonate with you it, it this could resonate for weeks and weeks or any other week it doesn't just have to be for the upcoming week okay okay you see someone is hesitant Someone is hesitant. They're, they're scared to come forward to tell you how they truly feel. But they are. They really are. Okay? And you're going to finally feel like, ah, finally, they fucking open up. <laughs> pretty, pretty interesting week, Virgo. So let's see. Let's pull a Lover's Oracle card for you guys. Ooh. First one that flew out was the Trust card. You got to trust in the universe, baby. It says, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. If you accepted that maybe communication is not coming in or something's not working out, or you're just going with the flow, you trust the universe, bam, it starts to happen. Great things start to happen. And that's what's going to bring you that sun card. You see? Let go, let flow, right? Virgo. One more card for Virgo, please. One more card for Virgo. <gasps> Manifesting miracles. Yes, we have your dream is soon to become reality. Trust. There's that trust again. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Oh my God. Your dream is soon to become reality. You see that? I told you, Virgo, you have an interesting week giving birth to your dreams you see i told you crystal ball never lies <laughs> okay virgos this was your your weekly message please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in your next video bye